Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk about uh, how to add the uh, load combination uh, quickly in CSI eTabs and uh, suppose you are working on uh, many projects and you want to do the social design so you need to add the load combination so you need to create the load combination uh, for each uh, project one by one and it uh, it takes a lot of time to do that so uh, there are quicker way that uh, you can do this and uh, normally we can define the load combination by go to define and load combinations and we can add the new uh, load combination here or we can add the default design com combination and we can select many options here and suppose uh, I want to do the concrete frame design I can select this and OK so we have the load combination uh, here but uh, in order to add the load combination that uh, you have for example uh, you store in the uh, Excel you can go to uh, tables and uh, model definition and load case definition load combination definition and you can right click on this table and show table so we have the table of the load combination that we just created and uh, we have the uh, load factor we have the load pattern here and uh, this table we cannot uh, edit change uh, the data here and if we want to do that we need to close it and we can go to interactive database and we have this uh, load combination table again but uh, this table we can edit and add a new data so uh, uh, we copy the data in Excel and uh, paste it here but uh, you need to arrange the data in uh, the Excel here the same way as the data is arranged uh, in the uh, eTabs and uh, keep in mind that your uh, load pattern has to be named the same as uh, the load pattern in the eTabs as well so I'm going to copy this and uh, go to edit and we can pass a pen but uh, we need to select the last uh, row of the table first and paste a pen and now we have a new uh, load combination here and uh, you don't have to worry about these two column and now we can go to file and apply to model so uh, now we can close this uh, window and we can go to define and load combinations so as you can see we have a new load combination that we just uh, imported and we can modify or show the load combination here so uh, you can do this to the other projects you can just uh, copy and paste so this is the uh, a quick way to uh, create a custom load combination so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much uh, for watching i see you guys in the next video